Top 10, I forgot the title already, for fuck's sake. Um, top 10 stalker songs, I mean, how can I forget this? I have to get straight into this one because I only have um, 90 minutes left and the video is 30 minutes long, almost 14, so I cannot pause this shit. Oh, uh, Stan was a slideshow, I believe. Yeah, that one for sure. Hello, it's me, you're looking for from Lionel Richie, and of course, every breath you will take by the police. Yeah, that's number one, so there you go. Oh, great song, by the way. I love all those songs, so there you go. They're hummable. Toe tappers, but they've got lyrics that'll blow your mind. Isn't Pumped Up Kicks a stalker song? No, that's a school shooting song. I love Cheap Trick. Great band. Classic, classic rock. We of songs that were actually about stalkers or from a stalker's point of view. Those that sounded sweet, but upon further examination, be -be -da, be -be -da, be -be -da, and those that see you cry. Excessive behavior uh, or unwanted attention. Nice from Broadway. We've excluded songs that could possibly fall into All the right. jailbait category, because that's a list for another day. Queen's Ro what the fuck? Queen's Rive? What the fuck was that shit? category, because that's a list for another day. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? That was Queen's Rock. What the fuck? Was that really Queen's Rock though? What the fuck was that? Was that Jeff Tate? That looked really fucking weird. Gonna get close to you. By the way, I'm a huge Queen's Rock fan, of course, but I have not listened to their like later era shit. You know, I'm calling it shit, but I haven't even heard of it. It's penned by everyone, so it's fucking shit, probably. I'm gonna listen to it someday, but it's fucking shit. I mean, come on. Now. Speaking about shit, or ass rather, what is up with this fucking album cover? Like, a uh, fucking bull's ass with balls behind it. Like, fuck, fuck this album cover. Fuck Blink-182. Voyeur, Blink-182. Voyeur, Blink-182. The album cover is literally a bunch of fucking balls dangling on the cover. Fuck Blink-182. Well, at least they're <laughs> Fucking whiny band, man. Track of the punk rock second album. I'm not, I'm not like headbanging along to it, but like the bass is literally having a stroke, so I'm just imitating him. Gonna get close to you, what the fuck is that shit? From Queen's Ride, what the fuck was that? Mm. Maybe that's just not a thing. The fuck? A tree branch outside his object of affection's window. I, I think it's from here in the now because it looks 90s as fuck, but I don't recognize it and I know everything about 90s Queen Rock. Except for the last two albums, but I, I started that I do well Empire of course and Promised Land, but there you go. And the girls ass kicking brother. Get that fucking cover out of my side. Fuck that dude ranch cover. I don't I'm not into bestiality or some shit. Just fuck that cover. Alright, just show the band, I don't mind them, but fuck that album cover. And I mean, they also have a song that's literally called I Fuck The Duck. I mean, I, I think that song exists, I don't know why. I believe Watch Mojo mentioned it once, like most controversial songs or some shit. Fuck this band, this band is terrible. It's like a retarded Green Day, I mean, that's really it, honestly. Number nine, Stan. How is this song number 9? It's, it's, it literally, it's like, of course I love the song because I'm getting crazy about it now. As crazy as Stan. But Stan is literally an invented word by Eminem. You know, which stands for stalker. Stan is a stalker. It's literally a word in the definition. Yeah, in, in, yeah it's, how do you say that? It's literally a definition in, uh, in the word book. Do, do you say it like that? It, 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 it literally ha ha fucking hell. It literally has a definition right now, so number nine is bullshit. I mean come on now. Where's gonna get close to you from though? I, I think here and now because it looks nine years as fuck. The form of a series of letters written by an imaginary fan obsessed with Slim Shady. If you didn't want to talk to me outside the concert, you didn't have to. It's not from here in the now. Alright. 
I thought it was from that island, but there you go. No. This is the last one with uh, Chris the Garma. Stan describes his deranged attempts to connect with the rapper. Shit. We met in Denver. You are back. His anger at failing to do so. I can't rap, but it's a great song. His pregnant girlfriend and commit suicide by grabbing his car off a bridge. Oh, don't say someone uh, Q2K. That's such a retarded name. Oh shit, how am I supposed to send this shit out? What the fuck? It's also not from Q2K, so it is from the 2000s. That's really weird. Number 8. Number eight. Possession, Sarah I mean, this song has to be stalkingly creepy though to outperform Stan. Stan is number 9, I did not expect that. Uh, personally, I really love Sarah, Sarah McLachlan's voice. I think she has a great voice. She, she's an angel. I believe she is the. Da -da 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 and uh, the, the, you know, she's that chick. I believe you know, you know the piano, piano chick, the piano girl. You know, uh, um, the opposite of Billy Joel's piano man. Uh, this song is really pretty, though. I really love the synths and her voice. It's really great. So. If you want to request something by her, I'm open for it because it sounds great so far. Really talented uh, young girl back then, of course, 93. Looks really great, beautiful. I mean, I don't blame the guy that's obsessed with her. Look at that fucking face, face man, gorgeous. I mean, she plays the guitar, she writes her own songs, I'm pretty sure. She looks amazing, she can sing great, she sings like an angel, she's fucking amazing. Oh, she looks fucking great. I mean, I'm not sure if she is the stalker or, or if she gets stalked. I mean, if she's stalking, that guy is hella lucky, or the person in general, maybe a woman, I don't know. And um, if the guy is stalking her, then that guy has great fucking taste. I mean, I'm getting into Sarah Mac McLachlan for a bit. Her name sounds really weird, but she's a, she sounds fucking great and looks fucking great. So. If you want to request something by her, I, I think Amy K would be the one to do that because she, you know, she is like my pop girl, so I'm, I think she's a girl because she is into a lot of pop shit. Oh, girls are into pop. You're so, uh, um, you're so sexy, but that's kind of how it is, I, I guess. I suppose she's a girl, but I'm not sure. I mean, Palmer said he was a girl, but he's a guy too, so Amy is probably. I mean, she has literally Amy. That's her name, so she probably is a girl. Doesn't matter. Number six. Number seven. Seven. I will possess your heart. Death cab for cutie. How I wish you could see the potential, the potential of you and me. I never really got into this band, honestly. They're okay, but. Starts off innocent enough, but the creepiness factor. Uh, they just rising. got really bland after a while. They just sound like an uncatchy Coldplay to me or some shit, or like an uninteresting in Weezer or some shit. But with a weirder name. They are a good band though, but... I never really got into them, honestly. Like an indie rock fluke. Where's Gonna Get Close to You from then? What the fuck? Try? It's from the 2000s? It's not from Operation Minecraft 2, isn't it? Fuck's sake. It's also not from Tribe. What? Where is this song from? What the fuck? I've never heard of it and it looks 90s as fuck. It sounds terrible too. Because it's like modern, it's more a queen truck. What do you expect? Um, oh, Hey There Delilah from The White Star. I love this song. It's a great song. Hey There Delilah, Plain White Tees. And that's the only lyric I know. <laughs> there you go. I hate that white fills. Like this douchebag invented the white fills. Or fuck this guy. It looks terrible. Why is the music video divided into three uh, like 
tin squares in a white square. That looks fucking retarded, man. This music video is so bad, but the, I mean, this song is classic. Songwriter Tom Higginson actually confessed the Grammy nominated single is about his unrequited love for real life distance runner Delilah Di Crescenzo. Yeah, this is real life, I believe. So the girl was pretty shook when this, you know, was a billboard chopper, chopper, topper, and shit like that. She was like, oh, my name is literally on the top of the charts. Did you discuss this with me? No, but I didn't think it would be a big hit, but you know, how wrong you were. I do really love the song though. The plain white tees front man wrote the song with her in mind. I was like, you know, you know what? I will write you a song. Hey there, Delilah singer. Uh, Lance Day with me. Oh, no. And it's gonna be the song, you know, it's gonna be the best song I ever write, and it's gonna be the one that gets us famous, and you know, you'll be my date for the Grammys. Is that is that grammar grammarly uh, correct? The best song I ever write, isn't it? Wrote the best song I ever wrote. Yeah, well, no, no, I believe he's right. The best song I ever write. There you go. Together, Sounds really weird, though. Touch, Doesn't matter. I'm a grammar Nazi. Yeah, you literally called it Hey There Delilah. I didn't expect it to be for Delilah, but yeah, sure. Fuck this song. Fuck this stalking bitch ass pussy raping song. Fuck this. Number five, you're beautiful, James. This Clark. is a low key rape song. This song raves my ears. My love is pure. Ladies, don't smile at random guys in the subway. At least that's what we take from this folk rock tune. Are you, are you retarded? Are you retarded, man? My, my speaking is retarded. Fuck's sake. Although James Blunt claims he's got a plan to get the girl with another man. I mean, this song is so bad. James Blunt apologized that he made this song. That's how bad it is. Actually, act on it in the song. It's fucking voice, man. He's true. Put on some fucking clothes, man. I'm gonna go back to Metal Storm. Hi. His vocals are so whiny. Why is he? Take. Take all your clothes back. I mean, it sounds like he's cold and he's jerking off at the same time. That's how he sounds to me. And then he jumps into the lake. What a fucking faggot. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean that, of course. I mean, faggot is a very strong word to use, I suppose. But if I get mad, I use like very racial slurs, you know, not, I'm not gonna say the N word because that's literally a joke, but um, I don't know what I want to say again, but fuck James Blunt. Hungry Like the Wolf, is, is this a stalking song? I didn't know that, but I mean, it's Duran Duran, you gotta love it. Hungry Like the Wolf, Duran Duran. Packed with the sound of early 80s synth pop and copying a Gordon Lightfoot melody. This Duran Duran oh man, one of the best pop groups. Duran Duran. Primal and animalistic. It depicts a wolf like man on the hunt for a mate. I love that bass line. Run after you. Oh yeah, the song is kind of creepy. I'm on the hunt down after you. I'm hungry like, oh, I get it. The song is about lust. Like now it pops in. I'm, I'm on the hunt down after you. I'm hungry like the wolf. I want to get you. He wants you bad because he's hungry like the wolf. Oh, this song is kind of creepy right now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I can't pause it anymore. I have no time. And I'm hungry like the wolf. You gotta love those no dance moves. Or mutual interest on the woman's part. Simon Le Bon actually admits he's stalking her with the lyrics. Oh, he literally says stalk in the forest, I believe. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I love this song. Oh, oh yeah, amazing. To nil. Lionel Richie. Hello, Lionel Richie. Hello. 
section me you're looking for. Bursting with lust I can see it in this your eyes. Soft rock number is sung to a person who's had the misfortune of oh, walking past Bring him back, Lionel Richie. Oh fuck, I have a fucking blur on. Oh fuck me. Meanwhile, the question he asked Fuck me, man. Hello. Fuck my you fucking shit. As the former Commodore seems pretty sure he is the one you're looking for. Why do I have to touch my glasses? All this has us wondering if it's a restraining order Lionel's looking for. <coughs> I mean, by the way, that's, um, by the way, hello by Lionel Richie destroys Adele's hello. I mean, come on now. This song is overplayed too, but it's great. This song is creepy as fuck, but it is great. Uh, number two. Number two. One way or another. But Blondie, oh yeah, yeah, one way or another to get the the guy or girl for that matter. Oh um, yeah, that's an interesting though. That's an interesting pick. One way or another, Blondie. Another oh, fucking vocal, like she doesn't give a shit. Um, oh yeah, one way or another, I gonna find you, I gonna get you, get you. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize it, but yeah, it's. Just, it's like the most happy sounding stalker song ever, of course. Oh yeah, I literally have no time anymore. I cannot even finish this video right now because of Pulse of the Gun. Yeah, because you made a stalking song. You're, you're kind of... You're kind of a hypocrite right now, Blondie. It's a bit it is a great pop song. Her vocals are so half assed. <laughs> it's a great song now, but. She's like drunk or some shit, what the fuck? Number two. Ooh, the colors are nice. Or number one. Oh, there you go. What is this? Gonna get. Oh, it's from. What the fuck? That was from Race for Order, Living Room from Tegan and Sarah. I n I've never watched this Queen Truck video. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, Vermont. Yeah, Stage Mom from Founders of Way. I'm still processing the Queen Truck song still. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get close to you is actually a classic Queen Rock so I didn't even remember. Private Eyes by Hall Notes. Number one, of course. I mean, just get to it. She, uh, Tyler the Creator fe featuring Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean is the most overrated artist these days. Stalker Song from Danzig. I mean, obviously, Stalker Song. I don't get Danzig by the way. Why do people like Danzig? Uh, Delilah, Tom Jones. I prefer the White, Stri White Stripes. Plain White Tees song. I mean, they're literally a plain band. It's literally in their name. Oh, yeah, classic. Number one. Every breath you take, the police. Every breath you take. I have no time anymore, so like on subscribe to the channel for a video like as well, and hopefully.